Hey there, it's been a while. I've been learning how to engrave. I'm pretty much just teaching myself by watching YouTube videos. Check this out. It's the latest one that I've done. It's nothing like super amazing, but for me, it's a pretty big improvement. This is a solid chunk of bronze that I just had sitting around and I thought it would be cool to engrave something on it. So I also set up all my cameras and tried to capture a video of it. I only got one good angle, but I figured, hey, why not share it? So the first thing I do is I slap together just some quick clip art to be, you know, placeholders and some basic outlines for me to trace. In this case, I totally traced a skull. It was a very cool skull and I didn't feel like drawing one up. Once the transfer was in place, I hand drew in some scroll work to engrave. I was just going to wing it, but then I thought it might be smart to kind of sketch it in first to get some composition that made sense in some way. Uh, then I start roughing it out. Now this material, it's really weird. It doesn't chip away. I mean, it doesn't produce a nice clean chip like the other materials I've done. Um, it kind of like comes off in these chunks that, that break and shatter as you go. It was kind of a nightmare to engrave, but I did it anyway because I thought it would look cool. And so far I'm pleased with the results. Now that I've got this kind of backbone of the scroll work done, then I go back in and I draw the leaves and do that layout. And I'm doing all this pencil work before the transfer work because the transfer stays on a lot better. Pencil can rub off. So I'm just kind of getting this scroll work to where I want it to be, getting the leaves right, and then I'll start on the skull and the uh, outer ring.
after I do the super rough pass, then I go back in, in this case, I went back in and I did some background removal. Uh, that's tough for me. That It's so much harder than it looks to remove those backgrounds without screwing up your engraving. And this is probably the best one I've done. And even this one is still, you know, I keep messing up my edges and my lines and the background is a bit inconsistent, but I'm getting there. After you've cut out your backgrounds, you can kind of chisel them down flat. There's a few methods of making them really flat, which I suck at horribly right now. And then you do something called stipling, which is where you take a really sharp or textured tip and kind of beat it up a bit. And that gives it texture so that whenever you blue it, or if in my case, I'm using black enamel paint, whenever you rub that over it, it stays down in those crevices really well. And it gives it a nice uniform texture and helps hide some of your mistakes. I ended up actually going back after uh, thinking I was done with this background and doing it again, at least doing parts of it again to smooth it out more. And, you know, every time I do it, I learn more, um, but it's still something I'm really struggling with. After that, I start adding details. And this is where all the shading comes in, the fine little lines. Uh, this is fun work, and this is really where everything starts to take shape. And it's so much harder than it looks. Um, you know, I'm getting there. I'm just starting to wrap my head around the physics of it and how it works. It's a little more complicated than it looks. Um, but, you know, watching some videos online have helped a lot. Uh, check out Sean Hughes Engraving and Sam Alfano, who's like uh, super famous in the engraving world, I think. Um, he's got a few videos that can help with that. Uh, and then after, you know, that I just keep doing pass after pass, doing some shading and, and some detail work. And then finally I finished it up with this kind of ivy border, which by then my hand was cramping up and I was getting lazy, but it turned out okay. Um, I think, you know, it's like when you learn to play guitar and at first your hand just hurts every time you're doing those chords because your muscles aren't used to it and they're flexing. I'm, I'm hoping that eventually, you know, the, my hand will relax and I'll be able to go longer without cramps and stuff like that. But ultimately, in the end, I really like the way it turned out. There are a few things that really bug me that I would change uh, right off the bat. These, the eyes, I hate that I outlined the eyes all the way around. I would have just um, I out outlined where the darkest part would be and then shaded the rest. But I mean, really, that's, that's pretty nitpicky when it all needs kind of an overall scale improvement. Um, but 
I love the way it turned out. And you know, when you're used to dealing with like 3D printed stuff and wood, this, this chunk of bronze feels really good in your hand. And so uh, I'm encouraged. I think I'm gonna do some more. Maybe I'll, I'll shoot some more videos from some more angles and stuff like that. Let me know uh, if you've got thoughts or ideas. I'll talk to you later. Bye.